Hello, my name is Jenna from Chippewa Falls Public Library. Welcome to another YA Reads 3 in 3, where I will share three young adult books with you today in about three minutes. Our first book by Walter Dean Myers and art by Javaka Steptoe is a 40 page, yes, only 40 pages, a 40 page modern retelling of Swan Lake that begs to be read out loud. This book is set in the Bronx, and it is a unique story that features Amari, who spots Odette during a black basketball game. When they meet, she says, Who are you? Can you really be as fierce as those dark eyes that seem to pierce my very heart? This lyrical poem by Myers and art by Javaka Steptoe will draw you back to this timeless tale again and again. I absolutely adore Javaka Steptoe and Walter Dean Myers. If you are unfamiliar with their work, I definitely encourage you to look them up. Next, we have a nonfiction book called Lifting As We Climb, Black Women's Battle for the Ballot Box by Yvette Dion. This important book fills in the blanks of the American suffrage movement, the too often overlooked story of black women. You're probably familiar with the names Susan B. Anthony, Elizabeth Cady Stanton, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and Hillary Clinton, but you're missing on many names and many stories. Through this book, witness the history of Fannie Lou Hamer, Shirley Chisholm, Nanny Burroughs, and Anna Julia Cooper, among many more. Learn about Black abolitionist poets, founders of activist organizations, and everyday Black women who lifted themselves and others, knowing that the future can be better and more just. This book is amazing. It is in the YA section, but middle grade and adult readers should give it a chance as well. Last today is the first of a series by Bethany C. Murrow called Song Below Water. This is a modern fantasy and you will be quickly pulled in to this magical and breathtaking tale of mermaids, sisterhood, and fighting the demons of the past. It is set in an alternate Portland, Oregon, is fast paced and contemporary. And I just want to share a few quotes from this book that took my breath away. We should all speak like sirens. Use our voices to make a difference because all of them matter. I know how it feels to be exhausted with yourself. Ooh, that one gets me every time. And lastly, nobody ever figured out that hiding things from kids isn't protecting them if they know something's wrong. If you would like to read A Song Below Water, Lifting As We Climb, or Amiri and Odette, give us a call, send us an email, or visit our online catalog to place them on hold. Thank you so much for watching.